I can never sleep well in hotels. I guess it's somewhat of an understatement. I don't sleep well in general. But hotels were the worst. Just now the previous occupant of this bed was a complete stranger was repulsive in my mind. But that's besides the point. What began is how the lack of sleep in hotels changed my life. It was Christmas. And we were spending Christmas in a shitty hotel and not a family. Great. Don't get me wrong, it's not like we didn't it's not like I didn't enjoy the all you can eat buffet of soggy hash browns and grits for Christmas Eve dinner. Of course the first snow of season had to cancel our flight down to Virginia. It was Christmas Eve and I was trying to sleep in a fully saturated room. My mind's wandering. Wondering what happened here to cause such an excessive amount of bleach needed. The room was nothing out of the ordinary. Two beds, one for me and my dad, and another for my sister and my mom. A bathroom in a stained micro village looked like it was in need of a good dusting. Somehow, I skipped the room and a stench of bleach into a dreamless sleep. Waking up, I could tell it was early in the morning. My dad was next to me, snoring, and he usually wakes up before 4 a.m. And that's when it hit me. <laughs> it's Christmas. I was about to this bad fortune room my holiday. Looking across the bed at the clock, check the time when I know it's a silhouette of a man about six about six inches across the room, staring at my mom sleep. Still have asleep and caught up in the moment. I can't help thinking of Santa Claus. I realized I'll sleep with the dot and horror soon filled my head. I choked back a shriek. I knew I couldn't let him see me awake, so I quietly put my head back down, pretending to be asleep. My mind was racing. Someone was in the room, and I couldn't do anything. I was trying. 16 year old. This man looked like he was built like an ox. I sat there and I wondered if I could wake up my dad in time, but I knew that wouldn't work. He's like a rock. A bucket of water couldn't even get him up fast enough. I was barely in tears. I never felt so helpless. For a second time, I choked back a stream. He was standing next to me. I could feel and hear his repulsive breath on my face. It's not like he'd been eating raw meat for a week now, with no doubt to brush his teeth. And if he didn't know I was awake, surely he did now. See, my face was contorted in fear. Eventually, the breathing stopped, and I couldn't help but sigh in relief. I would have kicked myself, but there was no need. I heard the, door, the room door open and close. I launched out of the bed. But nothing in the room was in disarray, and my family was still asleep. That couldn't have been a dream, and I couldn't have imagined it. Don't wake as ever. A horrible idea popped in my head, and before I could push it away, I was pulling the door open. Looking back at the door, in order to memorize the room number, I saw a giant spray paint black X on the door. And had I seen this without prior experience, I probably would have died with just some stupid kids. But I knew better. But not enough for what I was, but not enough to know what it was for. My heart skipped a beat. There he was, turning the corner at the end of the hall. Why am I doing this? I tell him down to the parking lot. He was nowhere in sight. One moment he's walking out of the lobby, and the next he's gone. Realizing how cold it was, and the paper didn't pajamas, I returned to the lobby. But no one was around, which is strange. I guess for us, usually a night concierge. I was really wearing off, I realized how stupid and rash my actions had been. He could have killed me. I curved myself back up the stairs. I knew something was wrong. And when I got back to my floor, the door to my room was wide open. I hadn't left it that way. Right? I walked myself inside, and after a quick search of the room to determine it was safe and my family was still asleep, I locked the door and got back into bed. I, I didn't sleep for the rest of the night. And my dad gave an admission my mom fall, but I still pretended to be asleep. A few hours had passed, and my parents got my sister and I up, and we got to the, got into the car and made our back to the airport. Drew my bag, dread my iPod, led to a finding of something that hadn't been there the previous day. A note that simply held five words. I still think about to this day. I knew you were awake. It's not been two months since the hotel experience. I'm so scared for my life. And it gets worse every day. 
See, that note I found wasn't the only one. I still received them 